All right, guys, here we have another KC tool unboxing and a lot of, there are ratchets. Let's see if I almost completed my goal of collecting almost every Vera ratchet. I'm pretty close, but uh, let's see today as I get closer. Well, alrighty, I can barely fit them all on the screen here. <laughs> let's get on in this box so I can uh, go through uh, all the ratchet I, I got. Let's uh, use this Stavilla knife here, the made in Germany, one, two, three, two, oh. Very nice and Soligen City of Blades knives, whatever they want to call them. And let's see what we got here. We have the flyer with the uh, Mini 2. Pretty cool. 160 sale for 99. Not bad, you get all the sockets and a little bit holder there, bit holder there. That's a cool set for 100 bucks. And we have the L keys, I believe these are new. And the Jokers, $79.99. Which of these? These are $9.99, that's a deal for each. That's not bad. We got some Heiko, some other stuff down here. Electricians, the Craftform Compact VDE. I've been meaning to get this one, I think. No, no, that's a torque one. No, there's another one that doesn't have a torque. And these are cool, but I wish they had the complete set. I believe it's not complete, all metric. I have to look in on that more. Not bad for the flyer. And with every order, you get a bit old thanks. Looks like another Philo. Yeah. Probably another Philo bit here. Yep, Philo tools. Pretty cool. And let's see what else we got. Oh, got the Jidora magnet. That's pretty cool. Figured I'd throw that in for like a buck something. Not bad. Thought it was going to be a little bit bigger, but still a very cool Ghidorah magnet. What else we got here? Um, let's complete the set with this lovely 8000, what is it, the 8000C. So we got the A, the B, and now the C. So I have completed the Vera Speed Ratchet Line. Ooh, man, that's beefy. Check that out. This is a lot beefier than the quarter inch on the bottom end right here and the handles correspond to the size of the ratchet so this is quite big right here it's about the size of the bit uh, the turbo and what's nice today is that I am at work so I can bust out other various items now turbo is still big that's that's a big handle there because you got all the gears. This is about the biggest that you get. Other than maybe the um, handle for the biggest flathead they got. This is the 14 millimeter. 932A 14 millimeter by 250, 250 millimeters. That's pretty big there. And uh, just in case you were wondering, the turbo part number is the 826T 057480. And that's cool, turns into a solid driver, push of a button, times it times four. And, uh, yep, we have all your speeds now here. And what's cool about the speeds is that you hold the handle here. This is, this is quite a big piece here. It's a lot smaller on the quarter inch right here. You twist and um, what you do is you flip the switch, you go straight, and you can use it as a handle, speed handle right here, which is nice. And you got two positions on each side and your selector, simple like that. And they are 72 tooth, all of them should be 72 tooth. 
one's quite loose. I like how loose that one is. I think this one's kind of rough. Wrote them all down for you. Did a little bit of research here for the video. Actually, yeah, the speeds are kind of smoother than the rest. Yeah, I thought this one was a little bit more chunkier, but yeah, they're nice. They're the lowest back drag out of all the ratchets, I believe. I thought this was gonna be, nah, this one's a little, little chunky, but still not too bad a back drag. And uh, yeah, definitely the switch releases it. And it also pushes on the release as well here, which is pretty nice. Nice handle, nice indicator on all three. Very clear, quarter inch, three eighths and half inch. It's a nice grip. Same grip as all the screwdriver handles. They do get dirty and they do get lost, but at least it's nice and shiny right here. Easy to find there. So there you go, there's your speed there for you. Completed that set. How about that? Very beautiful set here. And uh, let's get on to the next thing. All right, so here we have the Coloss Stuk. One Stuk, sounds like there's two Stukes in there. Stuk equals parts. Um, it is the 8781 Spies Duron. I don't know if you can uh, help me out down there how to say that, but uh, what it is, is a centering pin, 8781C. So here's the other piece. It is an extra pin, very nice. Now I got an extra pin. Each uh, handle comes with the pin on the hybrid and the Coloss. So if I ever lose this, which it quite can be a possibility, if you saw my unboxing, uh, I had I got further into this. Um, I did not know that this was here on one of those. Um, uh, I thought it was a hook to hang it, but yeah. Over time, I could see it maybe fall out it, it, it does hold it nice and strong right now but as the rubber um, softens up we'll see how that turns out you're able to lose it so it's nice that I got an extra pin here so that's cool um, let's see how that goes in here actually this is gonna go into the end of the coloss Uh, that is cool. That is one gnarly ratchet right there. That looks deadly. <laughs> this cap comes off, so you have another side like this. So this is your soft blow side, and this is your heavy side. It is a 60 tooth ratchet, so you nice got nice chunky six degree, I believe. It's pretty pretty rough at first. I still haven't got much use out of this yet, but uh, eventually I will, and. Uh, let me show you a little demonstration on what I thought this would be cool for. All right, so with BMWs, you have to lower the subframes for a lot of jobs, like uh, oil pans and stuff. And when you raise the subframe back up again, the bolt holes don't want to align all the time usually. And uh, what's cool is this guy right here can align the subframe and then you can get other bolts in while you align it. Maybe have a buddy help you and uh, get the job done faster. All you gotta do is switch around to the other side and maybe get a couple threads in, zip them in and then come back, snug them up, put the attachment on for the longer handle and snug it right down. Another cool thing is we get to have these lovely Torx bolts on transmission bell housings and especially on the top ones, they don't like to seat down. So when you have an extension out here, they don't wanna seat down so What's cool about this is you got a nice hammer end on it, tap the extension down, the torque sets in, and then ratchet away, which is very nice. Cool to have two tools in one. Definitely avoids going to the toolbox many times. All right, so same thing with the, the other handles. You just poke it right on in, twist, and the O-ring has a little drag there, which is nice and uh, takes it right on out and this tube is hollow so makes it a light ratchet on this end and this is where all the beefs at which is nice very nice ratchet same thing just twist check out the other video where I unbox this this is 
the number of the handle and um, it also comes as a kit with the carabiner and this lovely pouch right here with a nice suede end right there and check this out we have the spot for the pin which is pretty cool and I can put this nice extra pin right here on this carabiner which is also cool fits right in there boom now we have the colossus ratchet right in there and the handle fits in there as well or you can have it hanging down at the end pretty cool pouch has a nice loop through here no clip but just a loop through very nice set right here finally feel happy to complete it all here pretty sweet so that takes care of that and with the hybrid I also unboxed this one uh, I'll throw a little video in right here all right so I find this Vera hybrid half inch ratchet right here useful for a small cart like this it goes in half so you can fit it in there and all you gotta do is put it together like this locks right in and now you have about 442 foot pounds 600 newton meters of strength here with a nice comfort handle and uh, you can also keep it in the trunk of your car for emergencies and uh, take this back there and the flat anything it's great nice leverage nice comfort it has the uh, pin back here to remove it all you gotta do is that comes right off and then you can stow away in your trunk or in your cart so yeah there we go a cool way to keep a long ratchet in a small cart or in the trunk of your car it's the 8006c hybrid locking 72 tooth super light this is all tubing here to here this is solid and this is tubing here to here and this is all solid so very light very handy and uh, you can keep it in a cart in a small drawer and here it is compared to the coloss and by the way the coloss is the 8002c and uh, compared to the length of that one still you got a nice compact set here in that nice so yeah 60 tooth 72 tooth let's get on to the bit ratchets this one says it is a uh, the 8005 says it is a 60 tooth but I'm counting 72 so they might have updated this one this is the the Vero 2 I think the Zyklop 2 don't get me uh, wrong on that one just look up 8005 and you will find this and it comes in a set as well and these nice sockets which are quarter inch fit right in here with a ring positive lock right there and a switch will switch it for you very nice ratchet to have if you have a close quarters and uh, this is the old bit ratchet here 60 tooth so for your bit needs super smooth super strong i put a lot of umph into this one and a little tiny switch here look at the detail on that super sweet 60 tooth the bits go up to there nice thumb wheel and definitely handy little guy to have uh, i forgot the number on this one it was one two and three and uh, easier to find with the 8001 a b r quarter inch on that one and this is a release on the Christmas this is the 3 I'm for sure this is the Zyklop 3 this is the 8008 a quarter inch and it should be more available soon it is I believe in the next Christmas set as well I believe and there's another set you can get this separately in locking quarter inch pretty cool another 60 tooth right here wheel locking and very nice same 62 strength as 
the bit ratchet. And next up, we have the switch, Zyklop 8004C, half inch switch. And that one I recently got. And this is the B switch. Oh no, this is the 8003B uh, pass through. And uh, I think, I believe there's only the quarter inch and the half inch I have left. Those are the only two uh, ratchets I have left that I need to get from Vera. And I don't really like these. The anvil strength is probably cut down short by this piece right here. It's a pass through, it's locking and it has a lot of wiggle to it so i don't really like the wiggle on it it's it's okay it has finer teeth on it it is different than the other three so the 8004 is the switch line so a b and c is a switch and then the 8003 is the pass through on all three so you'll have the a b and c on the pass through Let's just get that clear and the R76 tooth, so they have a dual uh, twin paw. So they have, a, I think, a four paw system on each corner. So you got that double sound to it. I don't know if you can hear it. So it is a little finer than these. So these are 72 tooth, and these will be 76, I guess, to make up for the wobble right here. So, but it's still really wobbly. So I might not get those other two ratchets, maybe in the future. These are solid, these are super heavy. The handle part's a little bit more heavier than the head. And uh, they are super solid. So 72 tooth, this thing is all super small on the head, super small. Compared to the bit size, it's pretty close. So definitely, a nice one to sneak in through. I, I like this one. This is my favorite one out of the switch. Super strong, super sneaky. Love this one. Locking, solid as heck. Put a lot of oomph into the 3 8 I know for sure I put a lot of strength into this one. Super nice. All 72 tooth on this, 76 tooth on that one. And I believe that covers it all super nice to go through all these ratchets with you guys i probably went super long on this video here but definitely we'll continue on this journey here of uh completing all the ratchets here so we'll see about those and uh this is pretty cool here and uh definitely guys uh they better not make any more ratchets because uh this really topped me out here <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching and on to the next.